Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring you to a review for Shabotai Manga Chapter 14. Yes, we have had two chapters this week. We've been blessed with two chapters, so I give thanks. I give thanks. But let's go into the review. So we leave, we start off where we left off like we usually do. And Shinra has noticed that sister is crying. And he also noticed that the smile that she gives when she says, nah, there's nothing wrong, Shinra, is fake. And he spends, like, part of the night just unable to sleep thinking about it. So this shows, like, even though they have not, he, Shinra has not known, like, Squad 8 for a long time, I'm not sure of the exact amount of time, he is building a friendship and it is a strong one, or a pretty strong one for him to notice, like, at a glance, especially when she was, like, not naked but semi-naked that she was crying and also to notice that her smile was fake even though that does go on to just just about that goes on to like him personally where, where he's had to fake smiles in the past so he could recognize it but yeah there's definitely a strong friendship building for the squad for Shinra and the squad we go, the chapter goes on, so yeah, Shinra's there, now he's asking Arthur, yo, do you know what's up with sister, and that's when Mackie comes in, and then the chapter then goes off to the second bit of the chapter, where we have sister, and she has gotten to squad 5, now squad 5 is much bigger than squad 8, but sister has gone there to see what is going on, and she's talking to Princess uh, Habina, and now she he is getting on my nerves, like, she's just piling up the hate that I have for her, like, we're on level 2 now, <laughs> I'm gonna say we're on level 2 hate now, because she had the audacity to be walking on the heads of her squad members, like, yo, I'm thinking, I read that and I was thinking, who? do you think you are? So when Sister and Princess Habina finally come face to face, Sister starts off by saying, I don't understand why you're doing all these experiments. They go against the beliefs of the Soul Temple. So we know that on the surface, the Soul Temple are good guys. But, you know, maybe when we start to go underground, start digging deep, start really going into squad one that's when we find out they're corrupt if they are corrupt and basically to this princess sabina says are you an idiot and she basically further goes on to say how the beliefs of the soul temple the god that the soul temples are believing in oh, is just a mere puppet it's just a mere puppet it doesn't exist blah 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 and the only things that exist in this world are demons so either way yeah just basically princess sabina is corrupt and you can see it by the look of her in her eyes she had the look in her eyes this chapter and previous chapter princess sabina is a corrupt she's a lost soul She's literally a lost soul, so yeah, but we had that. Before she started saying all this rubbish, she also went a step further and just burnt off sister's clothes, leaving her half naked. Now, granted, she did do one good thing, and, she, and that was not allowing her, uh, her squad members to look and drool over sister's body. She was burning them, to, she was punishing them, basically, saying... That's uh, um that's the body of a of a um holy person something something like that. You don't deserve to look, and she was yeah she punished her squad for doing that. That's a good thing, but it doesn't doesn't cancel all the bad things she has done prior to that. But yeah, as she's burning them up, she says to what her squad by the way she says to another squad member will use her to lure out squad eight to fight. But that don't matter because he was knocking at the door at the same time. As she's saying all these things, yeah, we'll use it to the out squad eight. Shinra is there knocking on the door. But oops, sorry, I shouldn't even say Shinra. I should say 
fine sister and then kick squad five spot man yeah we've got a new hero his name is a bit long fine sister and then defeat squad five man <laughs> well we got a new hero on the scene and he's just there that's how the chapter ends off he's there he's ready to fight he's ready to take on the whole of squad five now just judging by the building size squad five is big so he can't be alone for this part. It's about to go down. Next chapter. And at the end of the next chapter it says we've got an extra long issue for us next time. So it's about to go down. Oy, oh. Now, something that came to mind when I read this is why now? Because we, previous chapter, we saw them leave and yes we know Shinra was angry at them and ready to fight but he did let them go off so what could have happened recently to change his attitude and for him to want to get this fight on the way as soon as possible now that made me think how because we know Maki was looking for sister so I started to think that maybe Either Maki, the company commander, Hinawa, or Obi, one of these three knew, knows about the relationship between Sister and Princess Habina. And so when, she, when Sister went missing, they put two and two together and realised that's probably where she went. And so during this time, uh, one of them three told... Shinra and maybe Arthur as well because obviously they don't know nothing about Sister, they've only just met her. Yeah, they told Shinra and Arthur about everything, just about everything between Sister and Princess Sabina. There's probably some more stuff to the story we don't know. Maybe there was some abuse from Princess Sabina to Sister when she was younger, something like that. I don't know, but I do believe there's more to their story. We haven't even really to been told nothing really, so I shouldn't be saying more to this story. But maybe, yeah, Shinra has been told the truth about the relationship between Sister and Habina, and Habina, and this made them mad. So he's like, do you know what, yo, I'm fighting them now. And he just, he just went off there to just fight them now. Now, I don't think he's alone. At the least, I do believe Arthur is with him. But I'm reckoning to bet that everyone's there with them and they're just going to bring the fight to them now, nice and early. Squad 5 versus Squad 8. Who going to win? But yeah, <laughs> that's everything i got to say, guys. I'm going to give this chapter... Ooh. Do you know, because I'm feeling emo... Like, because I'm feeling emotions as I'm reading, like, you know, Princess Sabina just got me pissed off. And then I got hyped up at the end. Because I'm feeling emotion, that's going to be affected in the rating. But also, I need to think, how much story progression did we get in this chapter? And it's not a lot. So, it's slightly better than average chapter. So, I'll give it the three and a half star rating. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, enjoy your weekend. Yes, enjoy. Please.